This is our third Golden State Dairy Management Conference. The purpose of our project is to have news for California farmers, research done through the University of California. So UC has great things to offer Californians and together we're helping dairy farmers be more sustainable for the future. My talk at the Dairy Day here was about in vitro meat or sometimes called cultured meat or sometimes clean meat and my message was that we haven't produced that at scale yet. It's not trivial to actually grow animal cells in culture and until such time as we have we really don't know what the environmental footprint of that production system is because you're basically replacing the biological processes done in an animal like the digestive system, the immunity system with industrial industrial energy and that may have its own carbon footprint. Uh, my talk today was on byproduct feeding practices on California dairies. So we talked about management practices as well as what byproducts are being fed on dairies. Uh, the take home message is that the California dairy industry is providing a great service to the state as well as other industries by taking feedstuffs of little value or little use otherwise, uh, feeding them the cows and you know in turn recycling those nutrients into milk and meat products for human consumption. Today I'm talking to dairy producers who may be considering planting almonds in place of their dairy operation. And uh, there are a couple of take home messages. Uh, one is that uh, when you plant a tree crop that uh, we expect to be productive and healthy for 25 years, there are a lot of considerations that are different than when you're planting or when you're growing a cereal crop uh, that you expect to harvest in a matter of months. Um, the second take home message would be that uh, when we are planting trees in an area where we've had confined animals for a long period of time, uh, we can have uh, chemical changes, chemistry changes in the soil uh, that can affect tree growth. In these many years of research that we've done on bovine respiratory disease in young calves, is that we really do have a lot of opportunities to prevent disease before it happens. We can modify management practices on dairies in pretty simple ways that have a significant impact on the health of the calves.